hello welcome back to my channel today i am going to be testing out the new anastasia beverly hills undressed lip gloss set as you know i am a lover of nude glosses so i thought i would try these out see what they're about i mean i love anastasia beverly hills products anyway so i thought it'd be great to try out these lip glosses so if you want to see swatches and my first impressions then do keep on watching don't forget to subscribe down below give it a thumbs up and yeah let's get into it okay so before i get into trying out these glosses i just want to give a massive shout out to black lash beauty who has done my eyelashes for me i'm so obsessed with them they're so fluffy long mega volume she specializes in russian lashes handmade and yeah she is amazing so her name is amy but her handle on instagram is at black lash beauty one so be sure to check her out i'll leave her links down below but yeah thank you so much for my lashes i love them so much and i don't know if i've already mentioned but i'm going on holiday soon so i love having like lash extensions when i'm on holiday because it just makes things so much easier you kind of can just chill by the pool but look put together without having much makeup on so yeah i'm so happy with the results and um, be sure to check her out especially if you're based in like southeast um area because she is local to me so yeah go check out her page and thank you so much amy i love 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 my lashes okay so we're gonna get now into the glosses um so basically it is a set of five nude glosses and it retails for 46 pounds so that's not too bad considering you get five glosses um and obviously if you're a lover of nude like me then it's kind of like the perfect set it's also probably a really nice gift for someone if they're quite into their makeup and like good products so yeah i'm gonna test these out i have never actually tried anastasia beverly hills lip products before i've tried a lot of their other products but not glosses so yeah i'll be interested to see the quality and kind of the payoff and how they apply so yeah i'm just gonna unpackage this now it's also really good now that anastasia beverly hills is so accessible in the uk because i remember when they first got big on instagram i was probably about 15 and you had to obviously ship it into uk and it was so long you had to wait weeks for your order you had to pay a ridiculous amount for shipping but now it's so easy to get them anastasia beverly hills have their own website which is um available in the uk the shipping is just normal pricing so yeah it's so much easier now to get the products which is so, like just better that we can in the uk get anastasia beverly hills really easily because when i saw this set i was like i want those first one i'm gonna try is called sand and it looks like it's a nude color with like a brownie purpley undertone all the packaging has um a gold rim around the edge which is really nice and they've all got a white lid except this one which is shade summer vibes which looks like it's more glittery than the others and this one has a nude lid and no gold rim whereas the other ones do but the packaging is so lovely it does come in this really nice box which would look really nice if you were going to give it as a gift but obviously if you're just going to use them yourself then the packaging doesn't really matter that much so i'm going to start with shade sand which of the, the four is kind of like the lightest nude then there's more a pinky nude and then these two are a bit more brownie undertones and then this one looks like it's like a, almost like a gloss topper really really lots of glitter specks in it so yeah i'm gonna start with sand first and then move on to the other one so i've got nothing on my lips i'm not gonna line them i'm literally just gonna try each gloss um because sometimes when you wear liner it changes the shade and it also changes the overall look of the kind of like lips so i'm gonna do no liner today and see how it turns out this is shade sand okay so it comes out of the packet really easily like just slides out and it's on a flat applicator just looks like that so okay so this is a really light shade okay so this is a really nude and it is creamy this is probably something you'd wear in the center of your lip and maybe mix it with a darker color 
it's kind of like a really light pink nude shade depends kind of what look you're going for but this is super light oh it's actually a liquid lipstick are they all liquid lipsticks liquid lipstick i thought they were glosses <laughs> liquid lipstick lipstick and this is oh i see and this is the lip gloss okay fine it does have a glossy finish even though it's a liquid lipstick but it might dry down a bit it is a super light nude shade so for me personally it's probably something i'd more wear in the center of my lip and then wear a darker shade on the outside but it's not a bad color it depends i'd say if you have deeper a deeper skin tone you probably wouldn't wear this by itself but if you have a lighter skin tone maybe but yeah it's a really pretty like light pink nude color i'm just gonna let it dry down i should have done my research i'm <laughs> sorry i said they were glosses but they're actually four liquid lipsticks and one lip gloss i just pretty they were glosses i don't know why so it's drying down matte it's cute again i wouldn't wear it by itself but it's a cute pastel color maybe at the end i'll do a mix of the different colors and kind of maybe put this in the center but yeah it's quite a cute nude color this is shade sand as you can see it's dried down it has got a really nice neutral color it did come out really really light but as it's dried it has darkened so i guess it's a really natural lip color it would be if you just wanted something super subtle like just lighten your lips a little bit yeah it's a nice color I'm taking off the shade sand and not gonna lie it's not the easiest to get off but that's a good sign because it means it's a really really high quality product so it is gonna last quite a long time because it took me quite a while to get that off but not to worry i'm now going to try on shade peachy which is like a slightly deeper pink shade again comes out on the same applicator this is definitely much more a pink orange kind of shade so i'm just gonna pop this on yeah so this has definitely got an orange undertone to it hence the name peachy so i'm just letting shade peachy dry down it's definitely a pinky kind of nude with an orange undertone it's definitely um a bit deeper than the other shade well it's on a different kind of it's got different undertones but this is more closer to my natural lip color whereas the other one was a lot lighter and did have a more brown pink undertone whereas this definitely has an orange undertone hence the name peachy i do like the shade again it's really really natural so it's if you were kind of doing your everyday makeup it's probably something you would wear over the top again as it's drying down it's getting darker than when it first applies so they obviously do oxidize it's definitely going a bit more pink now it's drying but it has obviously got that orange undertone if it was any more orange i probably wouldn't wear it but the way it's dried down it's really nice i might actually apply some of the gloss over the top just to see what the finish is like so this is the shade summer vibes and this is the one with the nude lid is the gloss to obviously go on top of the liquid lipsticks if you like your lips to be glossy because that is my personal preference so again it's on the applicator it's got a lot of glit like tiny glitter reflexes with like a almost like a gold shimmer it looks like it is so i'm just gonna pop this over the top and see oh, oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god okay it's got like a like purple reflexes in it as well oh this is amazing oh my god do you see how much of a difference that makes it's so thick as well you only need like one layer oh my god look how much that's changed the finish it's so glossy there's so many tiny tiny reflexes of glitter in it which makes it super super shiny it's almost like a metallic vibe is what i'm getting oh, i really like that okay that's changed the game okay yeah no 
this is how I would wear the lip to be honest I would probably my preference would be to put this over the top and then that's just a really nice nude oh I like that oh my god yeah that's like the perfect combination for me and I can imagine this looking really nice as well over the top of that sand shade it's just the perfect glossy topper and it's so so shiny I can't get over the reflexes like that'll look so nice when natural light or sun hits it it will look so so nice again not the easiest to get off but that is probably a good sign that is a good quality product so i'm not complaining it's just it's not easy to take off straight away obviously because i'm swatching different colors but i guess when you wear it it's going to be long wear because it really does take quite a lot to get the product off now i am going to try on mute this is definitely got a brown undertone to it with kind of like a hint of red i'd say more like a yeah like a ready brown nude it's called on mute so i reckon it will be quite muted and brown and probably quite like a nice yeah yeah the perfect nude shade this is more my sort of nude color i like something a bit darker where I do have a bit of a deeper skin tone. This is the sort of nude where then I probably would put sand in the centre if you wanted to kind of have that ombre lip sort of effect. So I'm going to let this dry. And then I'm going to put some of sand in the centre and mix it in and see how it comes out just to test it. But this is like the perfect nude for me. This is my favourite shade so far, I think. It's definitely got like a purple brown undertone, I'd say. Not, it looks quite red in the packet, but it actually comes out more purpley nude. That kind of muted nude. It's really, really pretty. I really, really like this. I'm just gonna, now it's dried down, take a little bit of sand and just put it a tiny bit in the centre. And I'm just hacking it in with my finger. If you did want to lighten it slightly. Just that soft ombre effect. Really, really pretty. And finally, we have shade Beaming, which looks like it's a metallic-y sort of shade. So I'm interested to see how this comes out and what the formula's like. Same applicator. Oh, yeah, it is like a metallic liquid lipstick. I've never <laughs> worn anything like this before it's got it's like a gold metallic -y gold sort of lip super super shiny this is definitely like super intense super shiny again it might be something that you just put in the center of your lip rather than all over i guess it depends what sort of look you're going for but if you were doing some sort of quirky, maybe like a Halloween look or something super kind of had a vibe, then yeah, you could wear it definitely. I'd probably put this in the center of my lip or like as some sort of topper, but it is super reflective and a really cool color. And it's a good one to have in your collection as like a staple kind of piece, but I probably wouldn't wear this like this just every day but it's definitely a really cool colour to have in your makeup collection. Okay so I've just put back on my favourite one which is Muted and I'm just kind of going to summarise my thoughts on the whole collection. So for what you get in the undress set is three liquid lipsticks, a gloss and a metallic basically. So for £46, which is roughly £9 per each product, I don't think that's bad. If you're a lover of nude and want some more staple colours in your lip collection, then yes, 100% I would get it. If you're looking at getting a gift for someone that is into their makeup and enjoys wearing nice nudie shades, a perfect perfect gift like i would love to receive this if you're looking at getting a basic nude set with some nice different colors that you can rock 
then 100% I would get it. The quality of these products are amazing. That's what you're paying for at the end of the day. Like Anastasia Beverly Hills is renowned for the quality of products. And I 100% do think their products are always good quality. So they are really, really nice long wear liquid lipsticks. And then you've obviously got the gloss, which is super, super pigmented and would look amazing on top of any of the three liquid lipsticks, I think. So yeah, that's kind of my final thoughts on the set. And yeah, if you want to get it, go wild, get it. It's easily accessible in the UK, so feel free to go get it and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe thumbs up follow me on instagram as well and i'm sure i'll see you soon with another one bye <laughs>